Hello, just wanted to do another video for you guys on the route I'm going to go with painting my next Robocop suit. So on my last suit, I used rattle cans for the most part. On the Robocop suit, in the original movie, a photoreactive paint was actually used. So it gave like this hue effect to the suit where you saw some purples, you saw some blues, you saw some silvers. Those weren't really colors that were on the suit. It was just the way the paint reacted to uh, what type of film they were using during filming. So we're just trying to replicate what you actually see on the screen. On my original Do 3D Robocop suit that was 3D printed, I liked my paint job. I didn't think it was the best. I think I could have went a better route, which I'm going to try to do now. And use some airbrush techniques on it. So I just wanted to share with you guys kind of what I got so far. I'm just playing. This is not finished. I haven't even put the silver base coat. I'm just playing with some highlights here of kind of what I want to do and the effect I want to go with some blues. And I haven't busted out the purple yet, but I want to do some purples too. But what's a great paint for the Robocop suit is Rust-Oleum hammered textured paint. It works great. And this paint is tough. I mean, it is tough paint. It can withstand some beat up on it. It, it really can. Um, so that will be my base coat. I also have a slightly darker silver that I'm going to kind of mist on to kind of... This one, it can be a little light sometimes. So I want to mist on kind of a darker Rust-Oleum hammered to give it the best of both worlds. And then I want to hit it with some highlights. And all I'm using here, if you guys want to get into airbrushing, it's really, really simple. It's it's not really complicated at all. Is um, a Central Pneumatic Harbor Freight Deluxe Airbrush Kit. I think you can get this probably for 20 bucks. I already have an eight gallon compressor that's also from Harbor Freight. Um, they sell the kit that you can get with the airbrush and a small compressor for like 80 bucks, I think. But it'll really help you on some of your projects if you want to get that more advanced look, so. So here's an arm, I just kind of want to demonstrate my technique. And all I'm going to do is just kind of, from the distance, come in, and you can see it's already kind of filling that out, and then you kind of just hit the edges. And that's going to look awesome on a silver base coat. You just kind of want to go on the edges and whatnot. You don't want to. You want that silver to stick out too. You don't want to go too much blue. You know, something like that. And then as you're kind of walking, and certain light hits it, you're gonna see that blue and that purple really, really reflect. And you can go as dark as you want. And if you go too dark and you mess up, you can come back and put another silver base coat on it, and then come back and uh, you know get your desired blue paint on it. And I'm just using some blue testers paint that I got at Michael's. But I'm very excited. I think this is going to come out real pro. Here's a, here's a test piece I was just playing with. Here's the Robocop foot. This is not finished. It still needs some primer coats to get smoothed out. But just, just testing out what I got. It's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to finish it, guys. Thank you for tuning in.